An elderly Chicago couple targeted in their own home. Only on two are Germont Terry exposing the scam that got a crew of conmen through the front door. Take a good look. You're watching crooks, high talent, just moments after ripping off some seniors. As the four guys jump into this black pickup, look closer. You'll find 85 year old John trying to scurry to the sidewalk, but it's too late. It's heartbreaking. It really is. Especially for Linda Furick, because her parents are the victims. It's just sad that, you know, people are out preying on, on folks. When the pickup arrives outside their McKinley Park house, originally one guy gets out. I'm so sorry to you guys. He approaches Sharon, her 72 year old mother, who tells me this over the phone. They saw a crime of opportunity. I was outside trying to plant my Mother's Day plants because we finally had a break in the weather. He goes on to tell Sharon there is a problem from a nearby construction crew. And the guy hit a water main, and I think there's a chemical a problem about it, and we'll have to check your water. Concerned, the couple lets him and a second guy seen here getting out of the pickup into the house. So the husband and wife head to the basement, yet only one man comes down with them. Watch as the second guy circles back to the pickup and two more men jump out. All three enter the house. It's devastating. Yeah, to, to realize that, you know, there were there were four people in the house. What's scarier? While in the basement, the elderly couple hears footsteps but cannot get upstairs. He was a solid piece of concrete standing there unable to let us pass. We were very helpless in the basement. The crooks steal cash and about $5,000 in jewelry, including John and Sharon's wedding bands of 54 years. This is kind of a, a bad memory of living in the city. Now, the husband and wife were held in their basements for about 10 minutes as those thieves ransacked the entire house. Thankfully, they were not hurt. Chicago police checking to see if this crew has targeted any other areas. Live tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.